What's going on to the YTBC? This is your boy Kid Twist. Welcome to the House of Entertainment. Watching a little um, airplane, automobiles, and trains, or trains, airplane, automobiles, some, something like that. Anyways, um, here I am with another video. What's going on to you guys? Uh, thank you for your support. Anyway, uh, by the way, um, another fight I want to talk about, man. There's this fight I really want to talk about. It's generating a lot of a lot of buzz. Is um, a lot of people talking about it. A lot of people want to see it. I know I want to see it. Is um, Mr. Juan Manuel Marquez against Timothy Desert Storm Bradley. Damn, I want to see this fight, man. Um, shit. You want to talk about a 50-50 fight? Um, that's one of them. Um, <clears throat> Man, I really want to see this fight. I don't know what's going on. I, I I believe that there's been a lot of disagreements with the drug testing because I believe that um, Timothy wants um, Juan Manuel Marquez to use a certain type of USADA and Visada or some shit like that. And Marquez only wants to use like a, a, a certain... He just wants to use like one of them. He doesn't want to use. He doesn't want to be drug tested by both of them. I don't know. This is a little crazy shit that's going on. Um, pretty much, they just they're in disagreement. One, they want one. They want to be one wants to be drug tested by one uh, company. Another one wants to be drug tested by the other one. I don't know. If you ask me, man, you know, one drug test is as good as another. You know what I'm saying? I did heard uh, from 78's, uh 78 News Channel. I uh, did heard that he did say that uh, I believe the commission drug test lets you have more testosterone in your system. So I don't know how different it is and what's the big difference about it. But I just want to see the fucking fight, man. Um, I feel like it will be a great fight because Marquez is a great counterpuncher. And he's coming of a tremendous win, you know, over Manny Pacquiao. And um, Mr. Uh, Timothy Bradley... It's a great boxer. He's coming over a, I believe, fight of the year candidate against Ruflin, Ruslan Probotnikov. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, man, I mean, I want to see this fight. I feel like, if was, if, in my opinion, I feel like um, Mr. 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 Timothy, Bra uh, Timothy Bradley, he, 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 is, he will be the one dominating the pace. I feel like... He'll be the one in control of the fight. But I tell you what, man. Marquez is a great counterpuncher. Timothy Bradley, do he does have a great... He does have a great chin, man. So, I feel like if Timothy Bradley's the one going after him the whole fight. And the whole fight. And pressing the whole fight. I do feel like Timothy Bradley will have the big chance of winning this fight. Me, personally, I feel like Timothy Bradley wins the fight. Why? Because I do see Timothy Bradley... Um, outboxing Juan Manuel Marquez. I do see him outboxing Juan Manuel Marquez. Um, now, don't get me wrong. Juan Manuel Marquez is a great counterpuncher, but that's why he is a great counterpuncher. Now, if Timothy Bradley sits there and stays in there in front of him, then oof, Timothy Bradley might might be in for a great fucking fight. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I I. Overall, I feel Timothy Bradley coming out of with a win because I feel like Timothy Bradley will be the boxer. He'll be out there, you know, giving it to Marquez and he'll be out boxing Marquez. Now, if he does what he did with Ruslan Probotnikov where he was just standing staying there right in front of uh, Marquez, man, Marquez is just, he's a tremendous counterpuncher. And not only is he a tremendous counterpuncher, the thing that I love about Marquez is that he is not only a tremendous counterpuncher, but he is a great and precise puncher. I mean, whatever he throws that punch, it lands. If he throws it to the face, it goes to the face. If he throws it to the body, it goes to the body. This guy, whatever he throws that punch, it lands. And that's what I love about Juan Manuel Marquez, man. He's a tremendous counterpuncher. Um, now, as far as um, Timothy Bradley... He, he's a great boxer, but I'm curious to see what will he do. Will he stay in front of Marquez or will he move like he does and, you know, use his feet? Now, that's what I'm looking for for Timothy Bradley to do in this fight. 
Because if he stays in front of Marquez, man, and Marquez, like I said, he's a tremendous counter puncher, and he's a accurate puncher. So I feel like this fight might be 50-50, 60-40 on the side of uh, Timothy Bradley since the, Timothy Bradley is the aggressor. But it's got to be pretty close. Um, I believe Marquez is going to be motivated to win this fight because this fight really puts him there because Marquez, if he wins this fight, he becomes like the first Mexican to win four, I don't know, like four or five um, world titles, I believe, or in different world divisions. So he'll be, that's, I know he's looking forward to win that fight, and so is Timothy Bradley because he already beat Manny Pacquiao. So now if he beat the man that beat Manny Pacquiao, Timothy Bradley is going to be sitting very, very high in the Bucks and uh, in the Bucks and Dynasty. Anyways, um, this is my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, please subscribe, put a like, comment, whatever. Um, anyways, welcome to Kid Twist, the House of Entertainment, and I'm out. Bye.